Yes? So once you've uh, run these initial examples, we're ready to start working on the labs. So let's start. Um, in the 20 labs, we're going to see some of them, just what they contain. Uh, later, you can analyze on your own. We've selected some of them, which we consider are interesting and appropriate for uh, maybe doing in a workshop with uh, time constraints and so. Uh, so you'll do some hands-on, uh, and then you, you can look at the uh, remaining materials on your own. So lab one is about C programming. Uh, we uh, ask user to create a platform IO project from scratch. Note that the platform IO projects you've used were already created, so we uh, show the steps for creating a platform IO project from scratch, include C programs, such as the ones you've been running, let's like switches or hello world, and then run and debug the two programs, both on the board and on Whisper. And then we propose uh, several exercises at the end of the lab. Let me give you a sample of these exercises that we propose. So they are divided here in two parts. The first part about or using input-output, using peripherals. So this kind of exercises, such as flash the value of the switches onto the LEDs, or display the inverse value of the switches on the LEDs. These are similar to the example that we include, the LED switches example, but asks the user to program a different C program uh, communicating with the LEDs and switches. Or uh, displaying the addition of the two least uh, significant bits of the switches and the four most significant bits of the switches. There are solutions for all these exercises that you can test. The second part of exercises, the second kind, is about algorithms. So in this case, we don't communicate with peripherals, but we just program different algorithms, such as the greatest common divisor of two numbers, a bubble sort algorithm, or uh, the factorial of a given non-negative number. Okay? Again, you have solutions for these exercises you, uh, if you want to, to take a look. Uh, in lab two, we uh, analyze RIS-5 assembly, okay? Um, we uh, explain uh, in detail the main concepts of RIS-5 assembly. We show the different instructions supported by the Swerf H1 core. Uh, we explain the registers available, all, all these things. Then, again, we create a platform I.O. project from scratch, but in the... Now we are going to use an assembly program, the LED switches uh, assembly program that we use, but programmed uh, uh, in RIS-5 assembly in this case, and then how to run and debug on the board and using Whisper. And we propose exactly the same exercises as for lab one, but now in RIS-5 assembly language, okay? Solutions are provided, you can take a look. Uh, the idea was to do now a hands-on of how to create a platform IO project from scratch and include the assembly program. I'm not sure if uh, we should do this or maybe proceed. You, you, <laughs> you can decide. Do you want to try? You have the instructions there. Uh, I think there are more interesting activities. So my fear is if we do this and we uh, cannot do others, do you want to try that, to try this? Do you want me to do a demo maybe of this or just we skip and you do it later if you want? I kind of like it. <laughs> you want to try? Everybody can vote. Right? Okay, let's try for five or 10 minutes, then uh, we proceed with uh, lab three, okay? <laughs> 